Hey everyone, Lauren Bobert here. As a member of Congress, I am honored to serve on the House Committee on Budget, and I want to let you in on what goes on in the Budget Committee. First of all, not a whole lot. <laughs> we did recently have a hearing, which was a very shocking development right there because Democrats so far have been happy and content to continue to allow Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden to spend trillions of your dollars without a single budget hearing to review these expenses. So in our recent budget hearing, we reviewed Biden's bloated budget, and I wanted an answer to one very simple question. How long will Biden be ceding our southern border to the cartels, enriching the cartels with human smuggling and drug smuggling? I asked this question three times to, to the director and got three different answers each time. She went from denying that there's even a crisis to, of course, blaming President Trump. This is what the left has to offer dodging questions with lies and finger pointing, and zero real answers or solutions to offer the American people. We need a real budget. We need real budget hearings that will address skyrocketing inflation, our government's out of control spending, and how we can get our country back to the Trump economy. The first response that the director gave me was that the Trump administration stole money from the Department of Defense to build the wall. Does the Biden's budget cut defense spending to the lowest level since World War II? So who is really stealing from our men and women in uniform? Also, the last appropriations bill provided $1.4 billion to build the wall, and Biden has halted that construction. But our contractors are still getting paid. That is not repurposing DOD funds, and GOA is looking at if it even violates the ICA. She, of course, then said, walls don't work. Well, try telling that to Nancy Pelosi, who has had the Capitol surrounded by a wall for months. And then the director came to the denial part as she declared, I deny the premise. AKA, I refuse to say that there's a crisis of our own making and that this budget will do exactly nothing to change that. Welcome to the Biden regime, folks.